I'm Pornima Vijay Shankar, the founder of Femgineer. Femgineer began as a blog about six years ago on engineering and entrepreneurship. And in the most recent year, I've actually transformed it into an ed tech startup that's focused on helping tech professionals level up in their careers and helping tech entrepreneurs build products and services. One of the common problems that a lot of people pose to me is, I'm really stuck and I'm tired and I think I'm gonna burn out. Because uh, I've rebuilt this product six times and you know we've had 10,000 people download it or 10 million people sign up, but we just can't monetize. We don't know how to get money from them. And I don't know what new feature to build or what to do to get these people to actually give us money. And so I tell them, okay, well, hold on, you know, what's, what's your value proposition? What problem are you trying to solve? And they sort of scratch their head and they're like, what do you mean? Like, we built this, this thingamabobber. I'm like, well, you know, what is it? How, what problems does it solve? And they're not sure, right? It's composed of a lot of features. And then I ask them, okay, well, who are, your, who are your customers? What are they like? And they say something really generic like, oh, it's, I don't know, people in the US or women. I'm like, okay, could you be more specific? And they don't know. And so I tell them, okay, stop building altogether. Don't build anything more. And they, like scratching their heads, like, you're an engineer, why are you telling us not to build anything? And I say, your problem is not that you don't know how to build a product or that you don't know how to get people to try it out. Um, your problem is that you don't know how to give, get people to give you money. And you also don't know who your customer is or what the problem is that you're trying to solve. So you don't have an engineering problem, you have a business problem. And what I'd like you to do is instead of building anything more, I'd like you to think about a concierge MVP. And so then they ask me, you know, what's a concierge MVP? So I tell them, you know, a concierge MVP is really an experiment. It's not a product. It's when you decide to try out a few different value propositions uh, across a few user segments. You might put up a simple landing page explaining what the, what the benefits are of using your product and who it's for. And you will also, you know, try out some, some pricing strategy. See if people will actually click to purchase. And that way you'll know whether you can monetize off of this value proposition. And so one of the things that I'd like to present at Lean Startup is this concept of a concierge MVP. And I'd like to present some case studies of successful startups that have actually been built where they did not have a, an entire product, uh, but they actually started off with just a very, very simple value proposition and were able to get people to give them money and were, to start, were able to also start attracting early adopters. So one of them is actually Airbnb. I'd like to do a deep dive into them. And then the second is actually Femgineer, where I didn't build out all the curriculum, I didn't you know, do a lot of advertising, but I put up a simple landing page telling people that I'm going to be teaching an eight week course on product development. And I, I explained to them what the values were they would get out of it and who the product was for. It was for engineers, entrepreneurs, and product managers. And I was able to get them to pay me quite a sum of money to get started. So I'd like to present both these case studies and I'd like to dig into the concept of concierge MVP because I think it'll help people avoid that burnout, save them from having to do too many pivots and lead them in the direction of being a lean startup. Thank you.